everybody, this is Bad Brad, and I've got a super awesome lesson for you today that's so important. It's all about the Dorian mode. Now, why is the Dorian mode so important? Because it's used so often as guitar players. We love this scale. It almost seems like an extension of the minor pentatonic scale. Okay, now last week I showed you how to play the G major scale in all positions. Well, guess what? Today we're going to do the exact same scale, except we're going to play that scale over an A minor chord. And as you heard in the jam before, it's got its own sound. The Dorian mode is the second mode of the major scale. All right. Now, this mode is used often in lead guitar playing. Okay. So, you know, somebody like Carlos Santana, he plays the Dorian mode a lot. Okay. Now, the time to use the Dorian mode is when, when that next chord, the four chord, is a dominant chord. So if your chord changes are A minor to D7, which is the chords that I used in the jam for this video, A minor to D7, all right? Now that means that you have a major third in your four chord in the key, right? And that would mean that you have this note, the, the third of the D7 is in the scale, all right? The time not to use the Dorian mode is when the four chord is D minor. That's a different scale, and we'll get to that on a different occasion. But on a lot of like funk songs and, you know, uh, R&B type stuff and rock stuff where that four chord is a dominant seven, this is going to be all about the Dorian mode, okay? So today, I'm going to show you how to approach it as the Dorian mode. We're not just noodling in G major, okay? We need to familiarize ourselves with this scale as its own thing. But the beauty is, if you learned last week's lesson, you got it. You got this, man. So if you didn't learn all five fingerings of the major scale in my previous video last week, make sure you learn that. But you can start right here if you want. All right? You can start right on this Dorian mode. Okay, to start off with the Dorian mode, we're going to work once again out of this box. This A minor shape right here, okay? And this is the scale, all right? You're going to play one, three, and four on that first string here. How that sounds against that. Right? Now, on the next string, you're going to play one, three. Right? Hear how that sounds right out of the gate. Nice minory mystery. All right. Now, what we're going to do is slide our first finger down to the fourth fret and play one, two, four. See? One, two, four. And on the next string, we're going to play the exact same thing. Right? And on the next two strings, it's going to be the same pattern of one, three, four, with your first finger on the fifth fret. One, three, four. And on the next string, the exact same thing. So here's how it sounds descending. We're going to go four, Three, one, four, three, one, then three, two, slide down to the fourth fret, then four, two, one, then three, one, then four, three. 
three, one. So, one, three, four, three, four. Shift to fourth fret. Today, because we're playing this as an A minor scale, we're going to call that first position. But we do know that that's second position for G major. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next position. All right. So the next position is going to start at fret number seven with your first finger, right? And you're going to play one, two, four. Okay. Hear that? Right? On the next string, you're going to play one, three, four. Right? And on the next string, the exact same thing. One, three, four. Right? Now, on the next string, you're just going to play one, three. Right? Now, this one's easy because, once again, you're going to have a repetitive pattern. You're going to have one, two, three. Four on the B string, and then one, two, four on the E string. So descending would be four, two, one, four, two, one, three, one, then four, three, one, four, three, one, then four, two, one. All right. So that we're going to call position two. All right. Now we're moving on to position three. But remember, it's okay if you just get one of these today and you come back to this video and you keep working on it. Take it easy, but work hard. All right. So the next position we're going to play up here. At the 10th fret, we're going to put our second finger on the 10th fret and play 2, 4, right? And that's going to set us up for the next three strings where we go at the 9th fret, we play 1, 2, 4. On the next string, the same thing, 1, 2, 4, right? On the next string, we play 1, three, four. Then we're going to shift our first finger to the 10th fret and play one, three, four. And then on the high E string, you're going to play one, three. Okay. So descending would be three, one, four, three, one. Shift pinky to four, three, one, Four, two, one, four, two, one, and then three, two. Okay, now you'll often find that you're going to shift different when you're going down and maybe shift different going up. This is important, okay? So work on these concepts and find what works best for you. There's no set and thing stone for guitar. There's no correct way. The correct way is what works for you. Okay, now we're going to move on to what I'm calling position four. Now, position four, we're going to be here at the 12th fret. All right, so we're going to play one, three, four, right? Then on the next string, the same thing, one, three, four, right? On the next string, we're going to play one, three, okay? Then we're going to kind of shift our finger to the 11th fret and play one, two, four, right? On the next string, we're going to slide back up to the 12th fret and play one, two, four, okay? And on the high E string, we're going to play from the 12th fret, one, three, four. So descending, four, three, one, four, two, one. Shift the pinky down a fret, then four, 
two, one. Then you could shift back your third finger. So you go three, one, and then four, three, one, four, three, one. All right? So that's position four. We're almost done. And guess what? We're back at what we would call, uh, you know, position one of the G major scale. So we're down here at the 13th, 14th fret. We're going to play F sharp. And we're going to go one, two, four. On the next string, the exact same thing. One, two, four. On the next string, one, three, four. On the next string, same thing. One, three, four. Now on this string, we're just going to play two, four. Right? And on the final string, we're going to play one, two, four. So descending, four, two, one, four, two, then four, three, one, four, three, one, four, two, one, four, two, one. Now remember, you can rewind this, you can slow it down, and you can hit the pause button and study these diagrams, okay? Learn these so that you can play them, you know. <laughs> Get where you can experiment with the notes. Right? You can experiment with the notes. And what I'm going to do is this little backing track that I did today that you, you see me play over in the clips, I'm going to post that. So you can take this track and you can jam along with me. It's just two chords, A minor to D7. And you can play this scale to your heart's content. All right? So even if you just get one position down, I want you to just experiment and play what's in your mind, what's in your heart, and what's in your soul. Because you need to find the voice inside of you. And I'm here to help you with that. All right? Now, be looking out for that backing track. It's coming out the same time this video is, is coming out. All right? It's A minor Dorian. All about it, baby.
much for watching today, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. See you on the next video.